I am so excited for today's episode of Calamity Mage because we're going to go like boss rush mode. We're going to try to take down, uh, take down a few bosses here. So first, we're going to start with the Ceaseless Void and Poltergast. But apparently Stormweaver and Cygnus are all kind of at the same uh, difficulty level as Ceaseless Void. In fact, they're all spawned from the same thing, the Rune of Cost. So we could just be like, bam, 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 get all three of those done and then do Poltergast. But in my experience in the last episode, Poltergast seemed a bit easier than the Ceaseless Void. But maybe that's because we are running a weapon that is much better for the, the Ceaseless Void, or sorry, for uh, Poltergast and the Ceaseless Void. So you guys, I'm so happy with this series because you guys keep showing up and giving some pretty major tips. Um, the last one that I got was, actually I got a few, so let's go over them. The, the first one that I got is what I should say, is that the labs, when you kill certain bosses, um, have special stuff in them. So like this is a lab, there's a lab in each biome, right? So this is the frost one here that we didn't fully explore. There's this one down here. Um, there's one in the sunken sea, but I don't remember where that is. So essentially, did I find this one? Yeah, there's one over here. So there's like one in each biome. Well, in the underworld, it's off to the right over here. And this one, when you kill, uh, when you kill Yaron, which we haven't done yet, you gain access to the Murusama, not to be confused with the Muramasa. Now this thing is crazy. It does 29,000 melee damage, but I can't use it. It looks funny. <laughs> I like how my character's just holding it by the blade, um, but we can't use it. Plus we're not even running melee anyway. So that was the first tip. Like, hey, there's something that you can go pick up. Um, unfortunately, it's a melee weapon. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or not. So we're gonna go ahead and deposit all of that stuff. Um, second major tip that we got was to make a weapon with the, um, oh goodness. It, it was the, okay, hold on. Let me go to gun. Cause it was, bah, 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 bah. which one was it? The angelic, no. It was a weapon from, uh, yeah, you know what? Here's the problem is I'm not even going to remember the name of this thing anymore. <laughs> I thought it was the bubble gun that it was crafted from, um, but apparently I cannot find it. Was it the F, uh, there it is. Okay. The effervescence, which is made from the, yeah, the bubble gun. I don't know why that wasn't popping up. Oh, that's right. Cause I can't craft it. Um, I don't have the bubble gun because that comes from. Uh, Duke, and I'm not going to go kill the Duke, but this is apparently quite good because it pierces. This may be something that we possibly do. I mean, how many, um, how many bags do we have actually? Because that might be a better way to do this. So, oh no, I don't want drop materials. I want vanilla treasure bags. So Duke requires 10. We could buy one. So let's do that. Let's see if we get the bubble gun. We didn't, we, we didn't, we didn't get the bubble gun. <laughs> Look, I tried. All right. I did try. Get out of here. That's what I got to say. So if I could craft that, then we would be doing much better damage versus Ceaseless Void. And Stormweaver, I apparently have figured out is a like a, a, a snake boss. It's like one of the long worms. So that would also work with them. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe we go kill them off or kill the Duke off a few times. Not sure how I want to do that yet. But the first thing on our list of stuff to do is to go to the dungeon, which I went and uh, cleaned up a bit. So I, I extended our our area off over to the left a little bit and I made it nice and flat on the bottom. I put some campfires so we're able to get some um, some health going. Yeah, that, that's basically what I've done in the off time. Uh, the final amazing pro tip I got was when uh, fighting, I believe it's Poltergast. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I believe it is Poltergast. Is if you have the bosses line up like down here and down over here, where they're, you know, they're on two different sides of you, you go above them. So you go up and if they, if they line up on the sides of you, you go horizontally. That was a great 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 tip so uh, oh yeah i also crafted man there's a lot to talk about i crafted the bio fuselage bio fuselade uh which is really loud and funny <laughs> it's just a machine gun 
So we might try that out because it seems pretty good. <laughs> it does. I don't believe that it. Uh, I don't believe that it pierces. So that's something to consider. This definitely doesn't pierce. I don't think, at least. Maybe I should go check this out before <laughs> before I make any of these claims. Uh, we have to go to the dungeon. I'm gonna buy a few of these. Not necessarily because I plan on. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do here. You know, what? let's put that down there. Uh. I, I want to do this and get him to spawn because we're just going to go back to base to get rid of the fight. And then yeah, there, now we can go back. Boom. See, now I don't even have to worry about it. All right, let's go try to get Poltergast to summon. We're going to start off strong. I've been down here for about five minutes trying to get Poltergast to spawn. We're about there. I just uh, want to make sure I go in with as much health as possible to this fight. I think that would be ideal because if I'm going in with, you know, I don't know, 400 health out of my 700 that I'm going to have when I get all buffed up. Uh, not great, right? Like, that's only a couple hits and then I'm dead. So I really want to make sure I'm staying at as high of health totals as I can. Okay, here we go. Wasn't expecting them to come when they did, but uh, Poltergast is up and running. So we're just going to do our best to avoid here. You know what I might try? I might try our new machine gun. Oh my goodness, it's so loud though. I'm gonna have to so turn this part of the fight down. I, I'm deafening myself with this thing. Wow, it is loud. It is so loud. It does a lot of damage when you hit with it though. Problem is, I'm having a hard time actually hitting. So I think I'm gonna go back to this weapon. Oh, that's, that's like a night and day difference. <laughs> I'd rather have something that's kind of homing at the moment because I don't really feel um, I don't really feel confident in the movement of this boss yet so getting the homing in obviously is quite good I'm just looking at my boss cursor mod thing and just making sure I don't run into any of his little her little I think Poltergast actually might be a she not that it really matters um, I think I'm trying to avoid the little ads that spawn. Ooh, we actually got adrenaline there. That is incredible. Can we get some big hits? Yes, we can. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Okay. So trying to utilize the, uh, tips that we're given on movement. Hard to do though. Very hard to do. Don't get hit like that again. Probably... Oh, goodness. That's hard to do. I didn't use any teleport there, though. That would have been key. Actually, you know what? I think teleporting on that um, is probably the best thing that I could do. All right. We're going to try something a little bit different. Yeah, that fight is not easy, but I feel like we could easily do it. Um, what is the Eidolon tablet for again? I don't remember. I don't know if that like is supposed to summon something. Actually, you know what? It's probably a pretty easy way to kill 30 spirits or use the Necroplasmic Beacon. Which actually, you know what? I think I can just make one of those. Um, because I think I have a bunch of spirits now. Necro. Yep. And not consumable. Perfect. Boom. Bam. Easy peasy. So we're going to do a bit of that. Oh man, I got a bunch of crap to get rid of, don't I? It's <laughs> quite a bit of stuff. Uh, let's change it back to daytime. And this is all just, yeah, these guys are all just the same thing. Now, maybe I should go check out Stormweaver real quick while we're at it. Because Stormweaver drops the items that I need in order to, um... Is, actually, is this going to work for this? Uh, deals more damage, gets enemies to high defense... Does this actually fire a an explosion? It does. Hmm. Here, let's try something before I forget. Uh, let's teleport into here. Man, that's, that seems kind of cheaty, doesn't it? <laughs> Look, it, it is what it is. So, this boss, I know, drops the stuff that I need to make the specific mage armor for, like, this tier of stuff. So, maybe that would be a little bit better to go ahead and go get. So, we can try it out. I, I have a feeling that the plasma cutter 
I, by the way, yes, I know it's a caster. I should probably have explained this in the episode that I found this. I see that it says caster. The plasma cutter is, is a joke. I'm, I'm running that as a joke because it's not, it's a reference to dead space. If you didn't know, because it looks like it looks kind of like the, the plasma cutter. All right, let's go with and that's probably what they're trying to go with. Let's go with a buff. Do we buff? We're all buffed. Uh, all right. Can we wait? I thought you had to be in the sky. Do you have to be in space? Oh, my goodness. You got to be in space. All right. Well, I know this is. OK, this is not working the way I thought it would. Let's try this. My goodness, this does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Oh, I'm doing like no damage to this guy. Why? Why am I doing knowing doing no damage? Why? I I'm really curious. Maybe I'm missing something. I apparently did a bunch of damage. Why was that not taking any damage whatsoever? I was doing like 200 DPS. All right, I'm gonna have to deal with that later. At this point, it's all a matter of, I think just going and trying Poltergast a couple more times and seeing if we can get that fight down. So this is going pretty well. I'm utilizing my teleport a little bit to try and um, avoid the bosses. It seems to be working. I've taken a bit of damage. So we're gonna do this. Okay, I need to get back this way. I couldn't quite teleport. I didn't have a teleport yet. Oh crap, I got hit there when I didn't mean to and that put us really low so we get killed. Actually, we almost killed that. So I'm going to head back to the dungeon and do that again. That went quite well. It would have gone better if my first phase went better, but I think I was going to kind of experiment with some movement there. And from what I could tell, the movement I was experimenting with didn't work. <laughs> so I, I I think I'm going to go from the start of the fight on this one. Get all those guys dead. Uh, it would be nice to have a full heal and my buff. No, let's buff up. <clears throat> and then let's go here. Why can't I summon it? Okay. I guess technically speaking, wherever I was at in the dungeon there is not technically the dungeon. So I got to keep that in mind. It might, it might actually be enraging the boss. So right there, that's what I was having issues with movement wise, is he kind of charges, she kind of charges, and then um, kind of gets me in a really bad spot. But if I can just actually just move a little bit like that and avoid the boss and all the projectiles, it helps out quite a bit. But those projectiles, as you can see, not great. Not great at all. What I'm getting hit by more than anything in this fight are the little ads that are using their projectiles against me. It's not great, but I don't really have a choice. I just gotta, I just gotta kind of keep an eye out for the projectiles and dodge them as I get an opportunity to. Oop, that was actually really bad teleport. It put me in a bad position for that, although that ended up working out for us. It won't always do so. Okay, I'm gonna use my teleport on the next one, I think. Oh, that didn't work. I don't know how much longer I have on a heal. Not that I'm super low. Oh, now I am. I got 40 seconds. Apparently, I just used my heal. Oh, oh gosh. Like, waiting for my, um, teleport to come back up. Oh, goodness gracious. Bad. Bad. Really bad. Am I alive? I did get hit there. Ah, oh, crap. I went right into the boss. Ah, oh, we're getting it to about the same percentage every time. Oh my goodness, I did it. I like barely did it. <laughs> I died. I knew I was going to die. Whew. That was uh, tough. Poltergast has been defeated. Abyssal spirits have been distributed or disturbed rather. Souls released stir the acidic storms. Hey, I got uh, four tier six coins and uh, Poltergast no longer after you. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and no, don't, no, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't summon him. <laughs> I hate that stupid boss. 
I, I think there's a thing that's like, uh, like one of the lower pieces that's like, hey, you, you, that, that thing will no longer spawn anymore, which is probably what I should be using. Right. Okay. So we got that. We got the treasure bag. Let's go ahead and teleport home. Uh, let's also just go ahead and get rid of all that. All right. Poltergast, a creature born of hatred and anger formed by countless human souls with all of their energy entirely devoted to consuming others. It seems a waste to have had such a potent, uh, potent source of power ravage mindlessly, excuse me, through these empty halls. Favorite this item to gain increased grab range. Didn't we already have increased movement speed space? Didn't we have a grab range one? Yeah, Plantera. Well, I mean, why not? Double, double it. Um. Oh no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to talk to you. What did I get? I got melee, melee, ranged, magic damage, nasty, ghastly visage, 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 visage. Uh. Oh, we also got a, a affliction. Gives you and all other players on your team plus one life regen, plus 10% max life, 7% damage reduction, 20 defense, and 10% increased damage. Pretty good. Not a material. Uh, we got a poltergeist trophy to use. Da -da -da -da. Bam. That feels good. What's this do? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fires homing gas energy that explodes. Actually, that might be really nice against... Storm Weaver. All right, what does he have? Lionheart. That's what. That's now what he gets, which is right click to summon an energy shell for a few seconds. It halves all damage sources. That's pretty good. Uh, what are these? Terror Blade. All right, that looks cool. We also got the Banshee Hook. Okay, that's cool. And a pretty cool looking bow. You know what? All of this stuff. Oh, I didn't get this. Ecto Heart consumable permanently increases adrenaline mode damage by 15% damage reduction by 5% what? Oh, yeah, we got souls. What were these for? Um, oh This is what I needed to make. Oh, but I can't get the dark plasma until I kill the ceaseless void. No <laughs> Oh, and I need one more soul anyways uh, I really want this weapon. It seems awesome It just seems so cool. All right, what else can these make? Uh, that's everything here, right? So this makes the blood fire stuff. Bloodstone cores, right? Um, oh, we can make a phantom heart. Permanently increases maximum mana by 50. It's not a bad idea. Um, there's some summoning stuff. I will check real quick if there's any more magic weapons. There is. There's a trident. Uh, there's a shadow bolt staff. Okay, we need to kill the storm weaver in order to get that. The more tiles and enemies the beam bounces off or travels through, the more damage the beam does. That sounds cool. Phantasmal fury. Cast a phantasmal bolt that explodes into more bolts. Stratus sphere. I get it. It's fun. It's very funny. It's a good pun. Great pun. Um. Oh, you know what? We can actually just make this. Fires an energy arm containing the essence of our stratosphere. Up to six of these can be active at a time. And then Clamor Noctis, which we can also make because I believe we have enough of this stuff. And we have the Wyvern Skull. Fires night wyverns and stars from the sky that stick to enemies and tiles and explode. Well, the Dark Spark is kind of what I want to make, but we do have other stuff here, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and favorite that. We'll deposit all the rest, right? Um, I think we can make the weapon here. Maybe not. Oh, that's deposit. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. No, what are we missing? Oh, nebula frames. Well, that's an easy fix. No, well, we don't want vanilla treasure bags. No, 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 no. want some of these. Give me a bunch of those, sure, whatever. Drop those in there. Okay, so we're gonna make one of these. And then what was it called? The stratosphere. It's good, it's funny, I like it. We'll check out what that does. It does so much magic damage. And then we'll also make, I, I here's the thing. I am using some of the materials that I wanna use on other things. However, this is a good however. 
if I can make cool weapons, even if they're not great, and just try them out, that's part of playing modded, right? That's part of like seeing how this stuff is. Uh, let's let's turn it back daytime before I forget. Holy crap, that is awesome. How many did it say it could be active at a time? Up to six of these active at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just kind of let those do their thing. Oof. All right, what does this do? I have a feeling that's going to do a bunch of damage to the bosses that we need to actually kill. Okay, that's cool. So I'm going to, now that we have Poltergast off that list, I'm going to look up Stormweaver real quick and find out why the heck it was taking no damage from us. Okay, I figured it out and I'm feeling pretty confident about this. We're going to put this there and we're going to put this there. So let's switch these around. So we'll go one, two, three, and if I need to, four. So what happened was uh, when you summon the boss, the head and the body deal take no damage, which obviously because I was dealing no damage. Um, but instead, you need to attack the tail. So that's our new goal here. Just to fire out several of these. And we can apparently fight it wherever. So I'm okay with that. Um, let's try, try hitting the tail of this thing with this awesome weapon. Oof. All right, this, this is not, not the greatest for us. And this isn't even the real boss. <laughs> and I'm already taking a bunch of damage. I just gotta figure out the uh, movement on the butt, I think. Okay, that's fine. Shoot that booty. You know what I mean? Let's get rid of our map because I'm not actually able to see very well with it. Okay. Can we kill that booty? Apparently not. Okay, that seemed to work. Where's the boss actually coming from? Wow, this weapon does so much damage to this boss. Cool. Can we can we just get the boss to come back this way? Oh my goodness. It does a lot of damage. Let's not let's not take any damage, please. Woo. Okay, this feels like cheating. But we did kill Poltergast in order to do this, so that's not necessarily cheating. That's just skipping ahead. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, okay, we're getting kind of hammered here. Bye, storms. Okay. That's fine. We know how to do it now. All right, here we go again. Got to get the boss to actually come to us. And then it's basically just run away, throw down some more Orby boys. In my opinion, that's that's what it's down to. Get some more Orby boys out there. Those lightning things hurt like crazy. Can we avoid the boss if at all possible? Doing my best that I can do to do that. Oh goodness, I can't, I, I just don't feel like I can do anything good. Here, let's get some of that going. Oh, that lightning. All right, brutal. I just found this while trying to restock potions. Ceaseless hunger potion causes you to suck up all items in the world. I beg your what? Like, come on now. Okay, here, let's also get some of those going. What was the other one? I have triumphs. Uh, we'll just take a try. All right. What does this do exactly? Oh, that is really cool. <laughs> um, that was not expected, but hilarious. All right. I just now have a huge amount of crap sitting there. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. No, that's fine. Right. What were the bloodstones used for again? So that's just we're clear. Bloodstones are used for making cores. And with the cores, I can make uh, I can make the dragon blood disgorger, which someone recommended, but I'm not using summoning stuff. Um, uh, I can also make the magic stuff, right? Yeah, that was right. We can make one of those or one of those. That was pretty funny. I was not expecting that. Um, let's go ahead and deposit all. 
I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. If you have like a few things that you missed, I wasn't expecting just the absolute barrage of items that we ended up getting after a second there. Quite funny. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I, I love that. I love that. I feel like I'm throwing away some money here. It's all good though. It's all good. Uh, let's just go ahead, keep that in there too. Yeah, that feels good. I'm gonna have to upgrade our storage even further here in a little bit. Let's go try Ceases, or not Ceases Void, but um, Stormweaver yet again. Oh my goodness, we did it, barely. But he just shot through our Orby boys. Okay, um, where's his loot? Let's go looking around for the loot. Oh, what happened there? Stormweaver is no longer after you, defeated. Okay, did I get a bag? No, I just got armored shells. Really, that's it? You only get five armored shells for killing that nerd? My goodness, how many did I need for the armor? Three, 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 three. Oh my goodness, you need a bunch. Okay, and to make the Shadow Bolt staff, I need three. Man, that's brutal. That requires quite a bit of that. So how many times do I have to kill him then if I want to get this armor? If I want to get the prismatic armor, I need... Oh, how much is that? 33 for the... What is that? Chest piece? 37? I'm thinking I'm going to have slightly less, but... Enemies with less than 500 max life. Don't do that. Okay. 20% non... Decreased non-magic damage. I, I mean, it might be better. Oof. Maybe. I'm feeling pretty good that we got it down. I guess I could just try again. Just rebuff real quick and go ahead and turn that off and head up here. Yeah, we can try that again. So what I did um, for this phase is just use this weapon. It works so much better. Also, those little lightning things I learned, you really just go in a circle around it. So like we have a lightning boy here. So we're just gonna hang out in a circle. And that seems to be the way to avoid that damage. Uh, where's the boss? And when it does the little lightning noise, that means it's going to charge you. So it's gonna do it here. So we just kind of get out of the way. Let's go this way. Get the heck away from him. I don't have as much maneuverability in the space that I would like, so I'm trying to fly up different ways. Uh, that was my heal. Right, can we teleport past him? That weapon does so much damage, it's ridiculous, I love it. Now you know, if you're a mage, just use this weapon, because it is very, very good. Crap, that's gonna hit me a couple times. I'm in a really bad spot for that. Okay, tonight, do I have any more Orby boys that I can get out there? Come on now. Orby boy, I'm up. Kill them, kill them with orbs. Orb them. <laughs> Goodness. All right, we got a couple more armored shells. Uh, we're up to 10. I need a nine for the armor. I guess I could try it. Right, I, I guess we could go just try it. Also, we got the trophy, uh, which is quite cool. Let's teleport into here, drop this down, like so. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh, you know what? I didn't even try the Ghastly Visage. I didn't even re-roll these, but this stratosphere is gonna be insane versus the Ceaseless Void. Oh, I can't wait. All right, let's get rid of a bunch of this. I need nanites, right? How many do I need for each piece? Should I, uh, wrong button, should I even Make the armor? I don't know. Like, the, our armor's doing pretty good. Do I just make the Shadow Bolt staff? What do I do here? I think I'm going to try to make the armor. Uh, the legs are 21. That's 32. I'm going to lose so much. And this gives me, like, increased pickup range. You know what? I'm not going to make that armor. I like the armor that we have. I know it's cool mage armor. But overall... The amount of, hmm. Fine, fine. You know what? I convinced myself. I, I'm gonna do it. 
I need 900 nanites to make it. Seems a bit much. Whatever. Uh, there we go. 999. We'll have 99 nanites left when we're done with this. Uh, let's deposit and we'll go with, I don't even know what the armor was called. Prismatic. That's right. Pr uh, prismatic stuff. So we'll go with the chest piece. Oh, I actually didn't take that out. The helmet and the legs. All right, so our current armor gives us 20% increased movement speed, 35% increase when below half health, which we're at pretty often. 6% increased damage and critical strike chance. Okay, we also gain 10% increased magic damage and critical strike chance, 5% increased uh, damage reduction, plus 100 max mana, and 15% 15 produ 15 reduced max mana usage. Uh, set bonus, reduce enemy spawn rate, increase heart pickup range, and enemies have a chance to drop extra hearts on death. Every fifth critical strike, you will fire a leaf storm. Magical projectiles heal you on enemy hits. Amount healed is based on projectile damage. Okay. This, on the other hand, I should probably get rid of this crazy weapon in my hand real quick. It looks okay. Let's see. Yeah, I can't tell with the hearts, but it's pretty cool. So... Do, 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 do. We get 8% increased magic damage, 12% increased magic crit, 12% magic damage, 15% crit, and 10% magic damage, 12% magic crit. So a bunch. Uh, set bonus, 40 max mana, 15% per, uh, reduced mana, increased mana regeneration rate. Press left to unleash a barrage of death lasers at the cursor for the next 5 seconds. <laughs> I uh, what can I say we are now living in a rave and this is the life that we live and I'm 100% happy with this armor choice <laughs> I guess I guess what we do next is the ceaseless void and Cygnus I don't know what, what Cygnus is I don't know what it entails I just know I need to go to the underworld don't spoil it ceaseless void is going to be ceasing to exist when I cast that. Oh my goodness, that is overpowered. All right, I'm looking forward to it.